Hi there, it's Rose. Welcome to my channel. Today I am here to share my projects for the Open Collab hashtag ATCMDC Open Collab. And this collab is hosted by Patty from Life with Patty and Bonnie from Bonnie's Corner. And um, it's an open collab. Every week you can share either memory decks cards or artist trading cards that you have created. And I love this collab because I love making ATCs. I don't always make memory decks. So that's what I created for this week. Um, and it was fun to be able to get out some of my supplies to do just that. So let's start out with showing you what I use to create my memory decks cards and then we'll take a look. So for the memory decks base, I used this die that I got on Amazon. And I really like it because it's a very large memory decks uh, die base. So it gives you a lot of room in the center to create with it. Um, and um, I like the scallop along the top as well. So I used that one. Now from this Memory Dex collection, I use the fence here. Um, this is a very pretty and ornate Memory Dex uh, die as well. Um, and it's fun for, you know, spring cards. I'm not, I'm guessing that they put this fence in if you wanted to make maybe spring flowers and a white picket fence. But in my case, cause I'm crafting for Halloween, I use that as a Halloween fence. So I use that die. It's just great and perfect for memory decks because of the size. Now this is a die that I also picked up on Amazon at the beginning of the season and it's cats. Um, and you get the three cat dies. Now I am not a cat person. Um, apologies to all my uh, friends that are cat people. I'm really not. I mean, I like cats, but I don't love cats, and black cats are perfect for Halloween. So I knew when I saw this die that I would be making some black cats for Halloween cards. Originally, I was going to use this on Freaky Friday because I do think they look pretty freaky, but I decided to use them on memory decks, and you'll see uh, those in a moment, but they're perfect size for that memory deck die that I showed you earlier. So these three cat cat heads. And then I dug out an oldie, a Tim Holtz Toil and Trouble die set. So this is the word Halloween, spooky, and of course, Toil and Trouble. And these cut out the separate letters. Um, so they don't cut the full word out. You You kind of have to piece the letters together to form the word which in the case of my Memory Dex card, I really liked that because I could sort of angle the letters any way that I wanted to fit perfectly on the Memory Dex cards. And so this was perfect for that. Um, so this set also came with an embossing folder with bats. Um, it's quite a few years old, but um, still a classic Halloween collection from Tim. So that's what I used. And then in addition to the dies, I of course brought in my um, distress inks to color them up, some cardstock from my stash. And um, yeah, let's get into it and I'll show you the memory decks cards that I made for this week. Now here is a look at the first memory decks and um, I cut out a, a blue watercolor background sheet and um, this die for the memory decks actually also cuts a little stitching around all the sides of that. I love that effect. Um, this is a rose gold circle that I cut for the moon out of some shimmery paper and then here is that fence that I um, distressed up with some black soot and some uh, vintage photo. Of course, I cut the cat out of heavyweight black cardstock. I used some flat back green gems for his eyes and then added just a touch of Spectrum Noir True Black 
alcohol ink to add the little pupil to have him sort of peering over that fence. And then the word spooky was perfect for this cat. Um, and that is cut out on some glitter cardstock. So all of my memory decks cards are backed with a heavyweight 120 pound white cardstock in the back for some stability. Um, and that's the first one. Now, I thought that the three cats needed names. Now, you met the first one, which was Spooky. And the next one is Toil. And he's peeking around the side. I think he's ready to snatch that owl that's on the branch over here or one of these bats. And I did a lot of distressing around the edges with crackling campfire, carved pumpkin, and fired brick. Those are my three go-to for adding that deep orange and Lord, sort of reddish tone to the yellow cardstock. Um, and then the bats are uh, Martha Stewart stickers that I cut down, um, and I just love the sparkling bats along with this branch and the little owl there on the end. Um, for the black cat, I added some rhinestones for his eyes to make him extra creepy. And of course the backs are all the same with that white cardstock. So that is Toil. And if you have Toil, then you have to have Trouble. And he's my final cat. Now, um, Trouble was a lot of fun to add to this corner. Um, and what I did with him was I added red glitter cardstock behind his eyes. Then I took purple flatbacks and added those in as the pupils and then that black Spectrum Noir alcohol marker for the little dot. Um, and he's got his eye on this collection of rats here on the bottom. And some are glittery and some are solid and that is also a Martha. Um, it was actually a border sticker that I cut down and shaped for the bottom. Um, again, you can see a lot of that carved pumpkin and the fired brick all around the edges here to highlight kind of that ominous orange and red glow that I really wanted to capture with this particular Memory Dex card. So Spooky, Toil, and Trouble are the three cats for these Memory Dex. There's a look at the back. So those are my three Memory Dex Halloween cards, Spooky, Toil, and Trouble, for this week. I hope you enjoy taking a look. Thanks again to Patty and Bonnie for hosting this fun open collab every Thursday. If you're new to my channel, I hope you might consider hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to ring the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.